Hey babes, so I don't know how much time I have, but shout out to Karen S. Z. Harris. Um, go over there, smash her subscribe button. Um, let her know who sent who who sent you there. Let her know that it was me. Um She's really good, guys. When I tell you she's really good, check this out. I don't know if I can get the whole thing on it, but if not, just go to that link that I was just showing previously. All right, here we go. Jenkins Case. Let's go. Let's get started. As we recap tonight, we know the Crown Plaza had a duty to preserve all relevant information involving the incident that occurred on their property pertaining to Kanika Jenkins. We know that the police department did not electronically go in and retrieve the data themselves or send a specialized forensic team in. They let the hotel manager turn electronic information over to them on external hard drive and thumb drives. Bingo. Therefore, no one from the police department can speak to the authenticity or the integrity of the data that they have posted on that website. Mm -hmm. Also, they came out and spun false narratives. Crown Plaza, police department and mayor so as we continue on tonight that's some things to think about let's the others fair use i have a right to use the videos pictures materials and the like and etc images and pictures that you see on here photoshopped yes they were bingo how do i know because i extracted the metadata from some photos to reveal exactly what was done in photoshop so let's take a closer look at this and it will also inside this metadata you she's proving everything i've been saying is is real it's right Just we'll see who did what we got names and what she changed. Okay. While we're looking at this, let's stroll down and look at who actually enhanced, altered, and changed some image. It was Julie. Julie. Julie works for Target Forensic Lab or Target Forensics. And in here you she can see she used Photoshop. <laughs> Told ya. Virgin C S six. Life cycle has expired and ended on that version. But we're gonna move on. Julie is certified. And her uh, field. Well, this is what she did in Photoshop. You can see she masked some things. You can see the layers. Layers. What was added per layer. Babe, layers. She went from a BMP on top of each to other. a TIFF. These are all the things that were done by Julie. You see the raw header. Remember, packets of data are sent through networks, are transmitted throughout a network. The medium used could be Ethernet cable, coaxial cable, so on and so forth. So you get to see. The binary numbers, so on and so forth on here. But this is all of the information 
from the metadata once extracted. Now you can see it's revealing who did what down to the type of operating system Julie was on. And we know Julie works for Target Forensics because it's right here in the report from the police officers. Well, I want you to keep this in mind. Yes, she is certified. However, Julie herself cannot speak to, say it with me, the integrity or the authenticity of the data from the Crown Crown Plaza Plaza. Uh Hotel because she was not there to collect or extract the data herself. It was handed over to her from the police officers and the police officers got it from the general manager at the Crown Plaza Hotel. So she can't speak to the authenticity of the data. Nope. Okay, baby. So, you have to follow this lady. She is amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, I, I love her brain. <laughs> I love the way it works. Yes, I do. So, anyways. Oh, yeah. I was, <laughs> did you see what I was looking at? <laughs> okay, so I've been working on my teeth. I've been working on my teeth, and I'm trying to get a nice, pretty smile in place so that I can finally smile because, obviously, I don't like my smile if I'm trying to work on my teeth. So, Anyways, you'll see that later. Tell me what your thoughts are. Um, my thoughts right now are okay. So if they're all in cahoots, you know, since when can the Crown Plaza say, no, I don't want to give my stuff to the FBI. No, they can't take that case. Since when does that happen? It don't happen. Since when can you pick and choose when the FBI gets involved? No, I don't, I don't buy that. So like, who can you take it to? You can't take it to nobody. That you thought you could take it to. You know what I'm saying? All right, babes. Love ya. Good morning.